This is a really bad place for me. <laughs> Can't jet pack while underwater, so I guess I'm just stuck here. Unless I can find a surface break. Which might be over here. Damn it, come on. It's just a hill. A power armor can handle hills. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, we gotta hop out. Fusing core is almost down. And since we're not exactly... Since we're not exactly gonna be trying to use up one of my other cores, we'll use the 46 one. We're being efficient. Time to kick some ass. Okay. So is there anything on this boat that I can take? These are legitimate questions. We have a box. That's a good sign. Not a fantastic one, but I'll take it. It has more shit than some of the other places. Hey, McCready. You know, a long time ago, there was a really big shipwreck. And I saw a movie about it. It was really interesting. I mean, they sent down submarines and everything, and the old lady fucking threw the expensive jewelry into the water, but... Hey. At least... She got old. <laughs> she grew old. Here's a fun Titanic fact. Or, not really fact for the Titanic, but more of a fact for me, having watched Titanic. In the past, I watched Titanic so many times, I wanted to change my name to Jack. I also wanted to be white, but that's a different ball game. <laughs> that is just a whole different thing. But man, I watched a Titanic and I was so disappointed that A, my name wasn't Jack, and B, that I wasn't white like Jack. And it wasn't because of, like, a political agenda or anything. I just watched the movie and wanted to be white. <laughs> well, let's be honest. Oh, fuck, I forgot his name. I was gonna say, who doesn't want to be? And then it just slipped my mind. Wow. That's embarrassing. I'm legitimately trying to think <laughs> of this guy's name, and I, I literally just uh, talked about him yesterday to someone, and I don't know. It's not Keanu Reeves. I'm Googling it so I don't look like a fucking idiot. There you go. Leonardo DiCaprio. My God. His name slipped my mind so hard. I didn't even, like, there wasn't even a chance of me getting it from randomly guessing in my head. I didn't even have anybody's name starting with an L. I was closer to thinking of Samuel L. Jackson than Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, I'm really bad with names. Okay. So I think we're gonna fast travel. But I'm trying to check out this area a little bit more because it feels like there's supposed to be like a fuckload of ghouls. We really aren't seeing them. Alright. Then let us bail. I gotta drop stuff off. Whoa, 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 dogs, dogs, chill! I'm just looking for a fast travel point. Did you really? Okay, all right, we're doing this. We're doing this, inspirational. Companion can't hurt me. <laughs> uh, fragmentation grenades are some of the things that I threw down. So he could pick them up. Because I had 19 of them, and I'm not going to be using grenades all that often. So I was like, fuck it, he can pick them up, and he'll probably use them. And I wasn't wrong. He's definitely using them. Just on fucking me. Oh, great, of course, our suit mutants are here. I'm trying to look for a fast travel point, so I don't have to, like, fast travel to Sanctuary, then fast travel back to the micro fishing pack. Or packing area, right? I don't have to walk all the way back out here. Damn it, super mutants. You guys are on, like, the edge of the map, too. I don't think I can go up there. 
That's cheating. Oh, they're below me. Never mind. Okay. actually sad that the area up there is outside of the range. What if I want to go up there? What if I want to build a settlement up there? That'd be a nice option. In fact, in fact, what am I talking about? The Finch Farm has a highway piece above it that I think I could build up to and build on top of. So that'd be fun. I just need to build like a fuckload of staircases. And then actually put in effort into their settlement because I haven't touched it at all. I just- I linked a, a supply line and then that was it. Okay. That right there has to be some place, a named area, for me to be able to travel from. That's all I'm looking for. How far have I gone away? Actually, we've gone a pretty decent distance. I'm about to arrive to that Death Claw egg area. Uh-oh. I don't want to run into the Death Claw. I just want to get a fast travel. If I have to kill a couple of raiders for that, that's okay by me. There you go, the Parsons Creamery. Damn. Mysterious serum. Interesting. They're negative 36,000 rads. Oh, you're not going to need that stuff anymore. Oh, this is for the cabin house. Oh. That's, uh, awkward. I just completed a mission completely by accident. Oh. Wow. Okay. I understand now. So, we were supposed to talk to the guard captain and then walk to this area and kill those guys. Gotcha. And we're supposed to get the mysterious serum from them after talking to the guard captain. So, I'm glad we got a fast travel point, but I'm not glad we finished a mission before we actually had a chance to talk to someone about it. So I'm going here first. It's just, it's just something I want. Okay. <laughs> a batter clipboard. So this looks like an area where a bunch of people just kind of came along and the guy talked to him like, Hi, I have a fancy chair. None of you do. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel like killing you. I see. Let me just put that down on my notes. Still fucking crazy. Alright. Oh, it's the insane asylum. Still fucking crazy! <laughs> okay, alright. We will... investigate this place to our fullest abilities in a little bit. But first I want to drop off shit at, at Sanctuary because I have so much things on me. Got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. Oh, so we're done with the gunners. It wasn't a problem. Just protecting my investment. I'll just do this one. We're friends. No thanks necessary. Well, I wanted to say it anyway. You stuck your neck out for me. I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. <laughs> I like how you're stopping yourself from cursing again. Why do you keep doing that? Hey, you stopped yourself from cursing again. Why do you keep doing that? Yeah, I figured you'd ask me about this sooner or later. It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave Little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. Had a beautiful wife named Lucy. And a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. The promise to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. <laughs> How could you leave them behind like that? That sounds mean. You must have had a good reason to leave them behind. That's what I keep telling myself. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. 
I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. <sighs> that awkward moment when the Vault 81 vaccine is in the, doesn't exist anymore. There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security codes. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing... No one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. Aw, oh, McCree, you don't have to worry about that. that. stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. So we're just gonna go ahead and casually do something. So I wanted to check <laughs> this helmet uh, that we have over here, this nanofilament synth field helmet. I haven't fully upgraded, it was just a normal helmet and it looks really cool. All right, this looks like, I don't know, just some standard badass sci-fi helmet looking thing. And I wanna wear it. So I'm going to. <laughs> My only issue is that underneath it, uh, I can't wear sunglasses, so that kind of sucks. I would have liked to have kept this perception bonus, but I don't know what perception does exactly for me. Let's see. Affects weapon accuracy and vats. Okay, so it's just going to lower my, my weapon accuracy and vats. That's fine. I don't use vats all that often. So now I look a little bit more badass. I'll have to download another fucking color mod or something. I'm sure somebody colors this to look a little bit cooler, aka we'll just make it black. <laughs> that seems to be the general theme. Alright. So where the hell is MedTech anyways? Uh, let me make sure I have the mission equipped. MedTech? That's not where we need to go. Hold up. Long road ahead. Show on map. It just shows here. MedTech facility, all right. It's not showing it on the map for me. Right. We'll just Google the location, because I'm pretty sure it should be here. Or it should be doing this. It says, bring McCree to MedTech facility, uh, research. But it doesn't want to show on the exact map itself, so I can't help you with that until I know the actual location. So let me be right back. Alright, so I, I looked it up, and I saw that we actually had a fast travel point pretty close to the place. MedTech Research! So we're just gonna go here. I do not know why the area is not marked. And I'm really hoping it's not gonna end up being a glitch like, Oh, well, the game doesn't register that you have the mission, so... Yeah, you can't get inside the building. Oh, well! Thankfully, I have, like, a save just before. McCready actually talked to us about his little mission, so that's not so bad. We can just try it again. Research. Feeling eyes on my back. Over. I hope Sinclair's information pays off. McCready should have said before we got interrupted by everybody. Oh my god. McCready may be a little bit too grenade happy for my taste. I'm not a I'm not a fan of everything that keeps on flying over my head. Well, he's gonna actually use the grenades in comparison to me, where I'm just gonna let them sit there and do nothing and just weigh me down. I just never have a reason to do it. It's just faster for me to shoot a guy than throw a grenade and hope that it kills him. All right, let's find that executive terminal. Sinclair said that's the only way we can override the facility's lockdown. Okay, so would that executive terminal be the front desk terminal? <laughs> I mean, what are the chances, right? Yeah, it's just a reception terminal. All right. Security alert. Ooh, wow, that was weird. Security alert. Contain containment lockdown is in effect. 
Administration has initiated a containment lockdown for this facility. All security staff maintain site integrity until further instructed by executive personnel. Use of deadly force authorized. Ooh. Okay. Why is this place under lockdown? Obviously because containment broke, but what broke out of containment? <gasps> Probably just some kind of virus. Honestly. Nothing super big. I doubt ghouls existed. Oh, security terminal. Nope, just another one of these. How much is this year containment lockdown for this facility? If anyone tries to leave, shoot them. You can't let them leave. I was really hoping I'd find a uh, hollow tape in here so that way I could just listen to it. Just be like, oh, the security no guard knows what he's doing. Oh, all right, elevator isn't functioning. I don't need it. Yeah, that looks dangerous. Let's go inside. Open airlock doors. Access to Whoa, fuck you too. Gotta go find this executive terminal. <laughs> just so I can open up an airlock and rush to my virus-filled death. I already got one disease on me, man. What's like five more? You doing okay here, buddy? For a reason, you know. <laughs> Dude. McCready, I'd be absolutely surprised if there were any working vacuum cleaners in the entirety of the wasteland. I mean, like legitimately in the wasteland. I don't mean something coming from a vault because that's cheating. Of course things are going to be in pristine condition if they're not exposed to the elements. That's why some people like canned food for a very long time and dehydrated food. They're safe. Sorta. Oh, hi there. Ninja Roof Ghoul. Yeah, that hasn't worked out so far. But now we're on alert. We're prepared to deal with any ghouls that try to come at us from any kind of direction. You know what I miss? I miss using my revolver. Uh, or not really revolver, the pipe revolver rifle thing. It's hard to classify it. But the cryo gun, my ice, ice baby. That was nice. It just sometimes dropped things in a single shot, and that made me feel like I was being a little bit more effective in life. Safety off. I'm all over this. Here it comes. Oh Jesus Christ. Thank god I grabbed that perk. <laughs> I'd be dead like five times over at this point. They got on you. A freezing missile launcher. A freezing missile launcher. That is funny. Okay. So if they aren't dead instantaneously from a crit rocket to the face, I can then just freeze them, which would instantly kill them. <laughs> through this mess. Go right ahead. Hey, you're the one who brought me here, buddy. I probably would have never checked this place out on my own. Because I just would have been like, whoa, I guess I've checked out everywhere on the map. And not seeing that there might have been something else. Alright, we got trouble behind this door. I'm prepared. Greetings, ghouls! No, I think not. Check the terminal on the desk over there. Sinclair's passcode better work, or we're screwed. <laughs> oh, now you give me the password. Okay. The cleaning robot take the day off or something? And don't jinx us. There might actually be legitimate robots around here. Security robots making sure that nobody spreads the disease outside or some shit. Alright, I actually wouldn't have minded trying to master, uh, hack this thing, but maybe it wouldn't have given me the 
actual ability to do so. Alert override. There you go. All right. Thank God that worked. Let's find our way down to the sub level. That's where medtech should be storing the cure. Okay. Well, first I want to check some other things out. There might be information here that is relevant to my interest. Sales report summaries. All right. Uh, Mentat sales up to 24% in school districts. <laughs> yeah, fixer sales up to 12% in seeded zones. New product forecast, 250% projection in two, uh, 2078. Ooh. What is prevent? Prevent sales, 250% projection, 350 or 330%. What the hell is prevent? Experiment 9823, test subjects reporting hair loss. Uh, experiment 4786, antidote causing cysts in adult su test subjects. Experiment 2312, test subjects reporting erections lasting more than four hours. <laughs> oh no! They're dying from that. Uh, test subject procurement costs up 36%. So... I guess we would have to assume, let's see, nuclear activity alert from head office. Corporate communication connections established. Emergency containment activated. Executive override. Executive evacuation procedures activated. Okay. So prevent sounds like a disease that's supposed to do its name, right? It's a disease that is supposed to, or a disease. It's a chem-like item like mint hats and stuff, that might be for preventing any kind of disease. Except, obviously, the test batches kind of suck, so should we really give your son an erection that lasts more than four hours? That might be a more terrible fate than dying to cysts. Hello. Right, okay. It's actually really impressive that he la- he, he took two hits! That was about it. Nothing else in here. Just a few drugs. All right. Thank you, MedTech, for all the massive amounts of drugs you're giving me. What the heck happened? Shh. I swear I heard something. I see something, man. Don't worry. I got this. What a waste of time. Oh. I wanted to shoot him with my rifle. I miss the old days. I liked using my semi-automatic thing. So many people were complaining that I, was, I liked using my weapons. Yo, show us variety. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I liked the guns I was using in the past. But at least my sniper can live on with McCready. All right, open the airlock doors. Oh, alert canceled. Hold up, I'm trying to fucking do this and we'll read it. Administration has canceled the containment lockdown for this facility. All security staff are to remain on station until further instructed by executive personnel. Okay. Ghouls? Machine gun turret. I think not, friend. I like how it takes into account uh, the bleeding damage, at least from what I've seen. That's a nice little bonus. All right, security terminal. Ooh, yes, thank you. A chance to turn off the turrets before I run into every single one of them. I don't know why it takes so fucking long to do that. Uh oh. Find him! Find him! I might have made a couple mistakes. All right, this is where we root in and shoot everybody. I'm sure, we're not alone. Okay, that looked like it hurt. Yo, psst, here. McCready, I was telling you to reposition yourself so we could shoot things a little bit better. Come on, attack me! I'm not heading in your rooms. That's tactically not so viable. It's a good way to get smacked in the face as soon as I walk into a room. Alright, looks like they're not gonna come to us, which means they're either... 
just being dicks and they're right around the corner or they have something blocking off their way. But at least I can just stealth around with my little power armor. Out of the way, McCready! Ghouls, man. These ghouls might have the same disease that your kid has. But at least it's not contagious, I imagine. Otherwise, the mother and him would have it. I hear them walking around. They're above us. They're everywhere. Well, we can handle them. Still being thoroughly amused by the fact that there are bottle caps in a completely locked off facility where they wouldn't have been storing bottle caps because it wasn't their Start former currency back then. Hello. What are the chances the cure's in this big ass thing? Probably not very high because the quest marker's pointing me that way. Uh oh. Barrel over here. Oh, Barra knows where it wants to go. Of course, it's a legendary. Rest yet? All right, so we have some kind of like giant radioactive reactor or something directly in front of us. Yes. So obviously, the best course of action is just stand right next to it. I see a microscope. I could have taken that microscope, man. Have fun with this junk. Okay, we gotta kill the last couple of ghouls who are just chilling out inside these little rooms. Hey guys! What about you? I might as well open all the doors. I have to put them out of their misery. I'm honestly surprised these guys didn't just die. Whoops. <laughs> I hacked the fucking password, but not the actual door. But apparently they had enough radiation or some kind of sick disease or something to actually turn into ghouls consecutively all around this facility. So that's really impressive. For what seems like a place that doesn't actually have much going on in terms of radiation. The only place that leaks radiation would be the reactor? I guess you could argue that maybe the reactor had more radiation leaking out of it before. I should take a chemical shower. Wash my eyeballs. Ugh, gosh. I'm so glad I never had like a science accident or science classroom accident that involved washing my eyeballs. I went the wrong way. The cure was on the table. Not not in the elevator, on the table. Hey, McCready! So <laughs> out the cure. Ugh, smells horrible. I think we're the first ones down here in a long time. The sooner we find that cure, the sooner we can get the heck out of here. Oh. Interesting. Hold up, we're going back Over up. Here. Over here! McCready, shut up. I really feel like I left something on the desk. Because I was just such in a rush to go into the elevator. Ooh, that was bad. 